welcome we are study electrical and electrons student in ati just now we are first project group today we present our group project our group project is agriculture automation system this is our project structure I will explain how got the power supply for this project. Here we got 230 volt uh, switch for power supply to the main switch. Here we use 12 volt 5 ampere switch for power supply. Then we use LM 2596 buck converter for convert 12 volt into 5 volt. Next, I explain controlling part of our project. Here the Arduino Uno board is the one of handles the control completely. Here the sensors provide data to the Arduino board. Here are the sensors we used raindrop sensor, pH level humidity sensor, soil moisture sensor and water level sensor. Raindrop sensor can be used to monitor a variety of weather conditions. The DH level sensor is device that detect and measure hotness, coldness and convert into an electrical signal. Soil moisture sensor measure or estimate the amount of water in the soil. Next, water level sensor. Water level sensor is device that measure the liquid level in the fixed maintenance that is too high or too low. Here we use two submersible small DC water pump. We use two channel 5 volt DC relay module to control that two motor pumps. Here the communication module used was a GSM module. It's called SIM 800L. Here we use this module to update the ThinSpeak server. We use two WD-128-64 display module. This is used to represent the data to the user. We use two T-position switch for auto-manual operation. First, I need power on. It takes about one minute to process data. The data related to the sensors on display is then displayed. In this case, considering the water level in the water tank, the water is given to the motor through relay whether to add water at or not. The data provided by the soil sensor that determines whether water is added to the soil or not. Considering this data too, two motors are activated through the two relays. Here the raindrop sensor gives the amount of rainfall as an analog signal to the Arno board. Finally, all the above data is updated on the TeamSpeak server, the SIM 800L DSM module using GPRS technology. Let's see the project. First, main supply switch on. Then update the display. Next, motor control automatic. Next, update the display. Please wait one minute. Data process completed. We can see temperature and humidity. 
tank level low motor is on we can see fill the tank now soil moisture sensor low motor is on water in the field now we can see things speak updated data process completed tank level high motor is off soil moisture sensor also high motor is off Now also we can see things pick updated.